The reason for me that it is important to show trans sexual expression and desires, there was a current um, representation happening in the mainstream, and that representation was missing um, an agency and a power of trans desires and sexuality. I was grappling with being a part of a culture that has very little visual evidence of a past. What does it mean to be a part of a culture that doesn't have much examples of a history um, or proof that we existed? The way that my work deals with this is in two ways, is that one, I made a short film that's a fabrication of a past. Another thing that I did is that I made this program of short films, so it felt important to me to unearth um, histories that exist that maybe we don't know about. Primarily work with um, found footage, voicemails, letters, old photographs. I relish in small budgets and restrictions. There are a lot of challenges in making films with my lovers and friends. We're a community with a lot of trauma, so it's really challenging for people to see their own images on screen. I feel really protective over the community, and I feel like there's something really magical about the queer community. And what I struggle with is making work um, about a community that's actually very private. I use art often actually as a, um, as a tool for my own healing and hopefully maybe my community's healing, yeah.